Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 5th of April. So what I'm going to do today is look at Nike. I'm going to look at multiple time frames, see, we are, see where we are then, and actually go for an aggressive entry on the four hour. But first of all, let's have a look at the weekly time frame. Let's understand where Nike is right now. We've had a wave for pullback on the um, on the Nike stock, on the weekly time frame. Now, this is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim platform. We also uh, have it available for MultiCharts, NinjaTrader, and TradeStation. But trading the fifth wave is the highest probability move. So we've had a recent good run uh, and taken profits before earnings on this Nike trade, on this fifth wave move higher on the weekly time frame. So a longer term uh, swing trade or investment, if you like, for, you know, for nearly 10 weeks. Uh, and now we're out. So it's pulled back. It's had earnings reaction. And now we want to see what's going off on other time frames because we want to get in again. Because it's, it's in a really good, strong growth spurt at the moment. So let's go down to the daily, see where we are. Again, we can see now uh, this big move that we were in on, uh, on Nike. Now we, we were out before earnings. It's come back. It's found uh, support and we are moving higher again. So now we go down to the 240 minute where we've got our black box breakout signal. Okay, so this pullback as you see on the four hour time frame, has pulled back into a wave four pullback. Now we look at this on the multiple time frame dot cloud right at the bottom here, part of our black box breakout indicator suite for Think or Swim. We can see the dots come down, pull back, and now we're all going back green again. We've just gone all green again, all bullish again. So we've ridden this pullback uh, down on the wavefall. There's been some profit taking. With the catalyst was earnings. It's found good support. Market still seeing this as a very strong growth stock and we're bouncing off that. So there is a potential target of around $91. Uh, but all we're interested in right now is this black box breakout signal that we've got. So we've come from these wave four lows and we're now getting back through our special EMA cloud, W5T EMA cloud. We got increased volume yesterday and closed near the high in that last four hour candle there. So looking pretty strong. We've got the signal at 85.75 with a stop loss at 84.27. Now, for me, I also look at this with these lows here. We've got really an 84.11 stop loss okay because although we've got that nice tight stop on our black box breakout indicator with the bubble there we've got to can take into account all of this thus last week all the lows so 8411 is probably a better sensible strategy so if we put adjust our risk to reward there to 8411 for the stop that still gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 just slightly higher into the all-time high here of this wave three high. Remember, ultimately though, we've got a $91 here. So again, it's very, very simple this. We've gone through this multiple time frame strategy. There's a lot more to that strategy, and I teach that on my uh, elite training course. But the main thing is here, we've identified that Nike is a very strong growth stock. We've just traded it recently over the last 10 weeks or so on a fifth wave move on the weekly time frame. We got out before earnings, took our money. Now it's recovering after earnings. We've got a black box breakout signal on the four hour. So we're going to go for it. We're going to go nice and tight, 84.11 stop loss, 85.75 entry. And we're going to look to at least test these all time highs here at 88.59, which still give us a really great trade here. Uh, now, if it does push higher, then that's fine. We, we've got more. Um, we've got more profit to make if it pushes and makes new highs. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day, a great weekend, and I'll speak to you all on Monday.